welcome. I hope you were able to pick an instrumental and write a song or pick a cover that you're going to record during the course. And by the way, if you want to be a teacher's pet and go for extra credit, you can also do multiple songs at the same time. The main goal is that you're going to be implementing all of the vocal production techniques along the way. So this week's homework is to record your song, keeping in mind all of those performance tips from last week. You're going to also add doubles and you're going to comp and time align those vocals. We're going to save harmonies and stuff for next week. We are going to focus on editing today and we're going to save the harmonies and arrangement for next week. So just this week, focusing only on getting your editing down. So I recorded this cover to use as an example and I've already recorded everything. It was so painful for me to not edit as I go because that's how I like to do it. You'll see my process in week eight, but it's on purpose because I want to show you how to clean it all up. So I covered Kelisa's milkshake. I just wanted to. So uh, I thought this was going to be a good example to show you some arrangement stuff as well, uh, which we'll get into next week. But so to get started, I'm going to show you first how to comp. Uh, like I said last week, I do maybe like three to five takes. So for this one, it looks like I did four takes of the main lead. If you're using Pro Tools, this view is playlist view. Uh, this is waveform view. And then when I go to playlists, then I can see all my, basically these are like hidden takes. So you don't hear these in Pro Tools. You don't hear these takes unless you click the solo button underneath all of this. This solo button does something different. If you have one of your other takes soloed plus this, all we're hearing is this. But if you don't have this one on, you're hearing this, but you're also hearing everything else. So this is like main solo button and this is like which of the main which of the main things you're listening to. So you don't need this on. Uh, this just means now we're hearing this track. So by the way, I always have loop play engaged. And if you're in Pro Tools, you hold the control button and you click a couple times and you'll see it go on and off. Uh, so I always have loop play so that when I'm comping, uh, I select the area that I'm choosing from. So I'm just going to listen to this over and over and it's going to just loop. And that way I can just change the S button to who I want to be listening to. Okay, so let's go ahead and comp. I'm going to go ahead and listen. And then I will start choosing which pieces I like. And I do have a bunch of background stacks already too. So I'm just going to go ahead and solo the lead so we're not hearing everything. My milkshake brings other boys to the yard and they're like... My milkshake brings other boys to the yard and they're like... My milkshake brings other boys to... The my milkshake brings other boys to the yard and they're like My milkshake brings other boys to the yard and they're like My milkshake brings other boys to the yard and they're like My milkshake brings other boys to the yard and they're like That one's a little drab to me My milkshake brings other boys to the yard and they're like My milkshake brings other boys to the yard and they're like My <laughs> I really like this take I'm going to say I like at the beginning of this, however playlisting uh, works in your DAW, you got to be on top of that. In Pro Tools, once you select something, notice this uh, grayed out arrow becomes usable. So I just selected this one and then I was able to click this and it pops it up for me. Um, you can also command E to like cut it and then you can drag it up and then it's not there anymore. It's up here only. Um, but yeah, for for now, I'm just going to do it this way. And then I liked the end of this too. I'm just going to keep the middle, the purple one. Brings other boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than... I just have the habit of placing cuts, but you don't need to do that. All right. So I'm going to worry about my crossfading later. Um, but just to let you know, I chose this part be to place the cut because... It's just, it's kind of between two words. And if you look at the waveform, see how this is like a lot more dense and spiky right here, whereas this is like more of a wavy waveform. I know that these dense, spiky waveforms are usually S's or, cut or like <laughs> sounds. So those tend to actually be easier to uh, splice together and to fade together. So I tend to try to place all my fades where I see those spikiness. So let's hear what it sounds like. Boys to the yard. It's the boys to the 
So it's an S going into a T. So that's probably going to be an easy place to crossfade. But let's move on to the next section. I'll show you the crossfading and everything after. It's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you. It's better than yours, damn right. It's, be it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours. It's better than yours, damn right. It's, it's better than yours, damn right. I don't like that. It's better. It like, kind of like slurred into it. I want a little more defined sound. It's better than yours, damn. It's better than yours, damn. So I really like this it's because it's very defined. And the rest of them, I kind of slurred into it. So we're going to try to keep that. Better than yours, damn right. I don't like the yours. Better than yours, damn right. Better than yours, damn right. It's better. Better than yours, damn right. It's but I like the damn right. So I'm going to pick this. Comping on D's is less than ideal, but we're going to try. Okay, moving on. It's better than yours, I can teach you. But I have. It's better than. It's better than yours, I can teach you. It's better than yours, I can teach you. It's better than yours, I can teach you. But it's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge my milkshake. Okay, I'm going to try something really risky and try to fade this in the middle of a word. It's never ideal to do that, but I really like this, the way this sounds the best. Um, and then I don't really love the way the second half sounds. It's better than, 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 it's better than. Yeah, I like that. It's better. <laughs> okay. And yours, I can teach you. Better than yours, I can teach you, but I than yours I can teach you better than yours I can teach you better than yours I can teach you but better than yours I can teach you better than yours I can teach you okay so I'm gonna try to take the yours from this <laughs> this is terrible uh and then I'm gonna try to go back to the rest of it I can teach you I can teach you I can teach you I can I can teach you I can teach you I can teach you I can teach you cool all right, moving on. But I have to charge my milkshake. I do this like, but I, <laughs> but I have to, but I have to charge my, but I have to charge my milkshake. But I have to charge my milkshake brings all the. Oh, this one is taking it home for me. I, I thought it was a really good take. Um, instead of doing it this way, I'm just making my workflow faster because I already see that this was the last one I used. So I'm just going to trim it out. But I have to charge my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard Brings all the boys to the yard and they're like Brings all the boys to the yard and they're like Brings all the boys to the yard and they're like Brings all the boys to the yard and they're like Mmm So did you hear I have a little like click sound in there? To the yard and they're You listen super closely you might hear all the Brings all the boys to the yard and they're Like right on the beginning of yard Brings all the boys to the yard and they're like So I'm basically gonna trim this out to the two then to the yard and they're like it's better than yours damn right it's better than yours i can teach you it's better than yours damn right it's better than yours it's better than yours it's better than yours okay damn right it's better than yours i can damn right it's damn right it's damn right it's better than yours i can teach you but i have to charge damn right is my favorite part. <laughs> Damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. It's better than yours, I can teach you. It's better than yours, I can teach you. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I... That's good. Oh. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. I can teach you, but I have to charge. I can teach you, but I have to charge. I can teach you, but I have to charge. I can teach you, but I have to charge. I love that. <laughs> um, is this purple one? Okay? Yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. Yours, I can teach you. 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 Mmm. Really like this one. All right. So we got our comp. Um, now we have to clean it up because <laughs> it's a hot mess now. Look at that. Do you see all the colors? Like, this is the reality of what is going on in every song you hear on the radio. Right now, I need to give you the talk on every single waveform, every single clip needs to be faded in 
and faded out. And any time two clips adjoin needs to be cross-faded all the time. It's a rule. Get into the habit of fading everything and you will never risk having any weird click or pop sounds. One thing that happens a lot is like people don't fade in and it's like cut in the middle of a breath and it sounds like this. My milk. It's just like this. That is just a bad edit. Even if you cut in the middle of a breath and you fade it, it doesn't sound that bad. My milk. It still sounds like a real breath. So just, yeah, just please always fade your stuff. So I'm going to start by fading in the first part of the waveform and just go all the way down the line. This looks pretty easy because there's like nothing here. But then I always listen back to every fade. And I do often mute the instrumental just so I can hear everything more, more clearly. Shake brings other boys to the yard. All right. This would be a good time to just explain one thing to you. What is a waveform? If we zoom way, way, way in, we can see all the squiggles. I'm going to go to a bigger part. Uh, okay, here's a, here's a better example. So here is our waveform super zoomed in. This is called a peak. When it goes to the highest point, this is a peak. And when it comes down, this is a trough. And where it crosses the zero point, this is um, the safest place always to crossfade something because it's going to blend the two in the way that a waveform should be blended. <laughs> so here's zoomed out a little. It's easier to see right here. Um, if you did like a crossfade on this part, as you can see, it's meeting in the middle perfectly. Just as a little rule of thumb, always try to blend things where a peak is traveling towards a trough and they're meeting at the zero point. So you never want to do your fades like in the middle of a peak. You always want to do your fades where it meets at the zero point. So let's listen back to that. Boys to the yard, boys to the yard. And sounds, sounds great to me. The boys to the yard. And sounds like one take, yeah? The boys to the yard. And Perfect. Okay, here we are. The next one. This one's a little harder because notice it kind of overlaps. Like ideally it would be here. Um, let's see if that blends okay. Or if we might need to nudge things. They're like, it's better than you. Sounds good to me. So that doesn't look ideal. Um, so. I care. This is where I probably slurred my S over, but I sang it nice and choppy here, so I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do my fade right where this next word really technically starts. So I'm going to guess that it's like about there. And notice I'm choosing where it's kind of hitting the zero point of this um, trough there. Okay. It's better than your... I think that's going to be good. They're like, it's better than yours, damn. Sounds good. Okay. Looks pretty good. Notice all the peaks and troughs are not completely lining up. Oh, yeah, they're lining up actually really perfectly. <laughs> um, but I like to try to hit it right where a word is about to, like, end or start. Um, this looks kind of like the best spot, but I'm going to push it to here and see if that sounds okay. A lot of this is by ear, too. Then yours, damn right. Ah, that's the D. Sometimes Ds are annoying to fade, but we got it. This is where choppiness also comes in handy. I'm guessing this is a breath. Um, it looks like a breath. breath. Damn right. It's better. Breaths are also a great place to fade at the beginning of a breath or Worst case, see, these are like different lengths. This breath was shorter. Yeah. Um, so you can either do, you can do this a couple ways. You can start it right here and then like do a fade out. And it sounds like this. Damn right. It's better than yours. Which sounds, which sounds great. <laughs> Notice that it doesn't sound good when it goes into that. I'm right. It's better than yours. Ooh, I could we're going to get to that. But uh, this part. Uh, this this might be a method that works here or another way I would probably do it. Like if I had no choice, sometimes I actually fade right in the middle of a breath. Let's hear if that sounds okay. This is a double breath. Damn right. It's better. But it sounds pretty singular, right? 
Damn right, it's better. Damn right, it's better. Sounds pretty good. Just for my OCD, I am going to do it the other way because I think that is more ideal. Um, and then I'm going to listen one more time, make sure I did it right. Right? It's better than yours. I can. All right, cool. So this was the one that probably won't work. All the best engineers will tell you they can fade anything, but I don't got time to try and try and try. If it just doesn't work, it's just not going to work. So um, what I'm looking for is where the peaks and the troughs meet in the middle, uh, which it looks like they kind of don't. See, that doesn't look good. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll leave one here. And since we're just, it's just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, what I'll do is I'll actually cut this out and nudge it because it's so small of an area. And this is what I want it to look like. And then I will do my crossfade and see if that does it okay. It's better than yours. I can teach you. No, <laughs> it's not bad. It's better than yours. I can. I can hear it a little bit. Uh, what's this part? Okay. I see spikiness, so I'm going to see if I can get away with something like that. Let's see. I can teach okay, so this is an S. Sometimes S's are nice to us when we, when we fade them in the middle, so let's hear it. Damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to. Sounds like a double S on that. It's better than yours. I can teach you. Okay, um, I'm gonna try one more thing. Okay, let's try one more thing. Yours, I can teach. I might try to push it to over here. Let's just see. Then yours, I can teach you. There's a double cook. So sometimes what I'll do find a nice space where I can cut and nudge it over because basically I sang this part too late probably and this part or this part too early. Better than yours I can teach you. But so that actually sounds pretty good. I hear a lot of saliva in that. <laughs> Better than yours I can teach you. So I want to say that this part I'm not super super satisfied with. So this is going to be a good example of I'm of a place where I can show you how to punch in. But I'll do that at the end. Let's just finish comping this out, and then we will go and punch that part. Oh yeah, I nudged it, so I'm just gonna nudge it back since we're not, <laughs> since we're not even using that part. All right, over here. These are the boys to the yard. Boys to the yard. Okay, let's hope. Ooh. Really trying here. These are the boys to the yard, and that does not sound good. Boys of the yard and then that's not terrible. Things are the boys of the yard and then things are the boys of the yard. I'm not like letting it hit the S. Let me hit here with the click and see if it's milkshake brings all the boys of the yard and they're like. I think I could afford to nudge this a little to give that S some space. Like so. Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. So now you hear the boys a little bit better. Uh, which, where is it? I think it's there. It's all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yard. Okay, I'm, I'm not mad at that. What happened here? Like, it's better than... I just apparently like this breath better. We don't need to be selective on breaths. I'm just gonna do... Ooh. Right there. Let's see if that sounds okay. They're like, it's better than yours, damn right. That looks pretty easy. Then yours, damn right. It's better than yours. I could teach you. Less ideal. Mm. Hmm. Yours, I could teach you. Damn right. It's better than yours. I could teach you. But I have to charge. <laughs> charge. Yeah, that's that's cool. You, but I have to charge. Teach you, but I have that to. breath is so intense, so I'm actually going to see if this one sounds better. Teach you, but I have to charge. I know this sounds weird, but I'm going to nudge this breath over to give the end of this word some space. 
teach you, but I have to charge. So much better. And then I'm always going to fade out my ending. All right, let's go punch in this part. And so remember, what is the most important part of punching in is the follow through. So actually the starting point and the follow through. So I'm going to start singing along earlier, and then I'm going to follow through with a couple words and probably end right here. So I'm going to give myself some pre-roll. Get mentally prepared, get in the vibe. Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I could teach you, but I have to charge my milkshake. All right, that's it. Oh, guess what? My level was, my level was completely different from the other one. I remember it was at 30 decibels. <laughs> let's do it again. All right, let's go. Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, like it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I could teach you, but I have to charge my... Okay, so let's pop that in and see if we can fade it. There's that. And then this one is the funky one. It's better than yours, I can teach Sounds good. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to. All right, I'm happy with that. So, yeah, if I didn't follow through, it would have sounded like a choppy roboticness to it. So, it's now it's sounding like a continuous take. So, let's hear it back. Our full take. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you, but I have to charge. Cool. That is our comp. So that is our lead vocal. Okay, so next I want to talk about just best practices for keeping our sessions like really clean and organized. Uh, this is all like, this is a mess to me. And I want you to get into the habit of fading things as you go. I did not do that when I was recording this so that I can show you how I clean it up later. Um, and that was very painful for me to not <laughs> fade as I go. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But um, I did want to show you, notice uh, there's like this little waveform right here. This is the start of the take. This is just an example of how I was waiting with the pre-roll and I gave myself like a little bit of that first word just to prepare me for the take. So you will hear that here. La la, la la, la la, la. <laughs> all right. Um, by the way, take a listen. This is what it all sounds like with no vocal production. La la, <laughs> la, la, la la, la la, yeah. Warm it up. La la, la la, la. The boys are waiting, la, 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 la. All right, all right we're going to fix all this. So I'm just going to start by doing all my fade-ins and fade-outs. Um, we want this stuff super clean. So, And we generally want to delete all the empty dead space that we don't need. Just make sure you're not cutting off like a, a breath or something that you actually do want. All right. So let me just do all this real quick. I would typically do this as I go during the session and you'll see my workflow in week eight when we go in the booth and I record a song in real time. Okay. Cut all this, cut all this. Probably can cut that too. And then endings here okay um Okay, great. This is looking good. All my fades are clean. 
My comp track is comped. One thing I do want to point out, uh, I get a question like this a lot, is how do we fix like mouth sounds if we did get it and it's just we don't want to get rid of this take we love the take but there was like a clicky sound in the vocal I noticed that I had one in this take so I thought I would show you um, how you can edit that out there are like plugins out there that help you fix audio um, they're very expensive and I don't even know if they're perfect so knowing how to do this by hand will be very very helpful um, it's not going to work 100% of the time. Sometimes you might just need to bite the bullet and re-record it. But uh, let's take a look at this click that I have. And you can see it pretty prominently right here. Uh, that's the that's where the click is. So if you can listen closely. La, 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 la. Actually, there's two. Uh, I think there's a click right here. La, 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 la. Yeah, so we actually have two offenders in this. So let's see if we can fix both of them. Yeah, and I can see that this is probably where, I don't know, I either smacked my lips or I bumped into something. So uh, I'm literally going to zoom super far in, um, make some cuts where around the offender, um, maybe like that and delete it then I'm gonna give myself some space to slide it over and fade us in and hopefully that got rid of her hopefully that got rid of the click let's listen la 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 wow it's gone <laughs> that's it you know it it's it's gonna work sometimes it's or, but if it's in like the middle of a word, sometimes it'll really uh, ruin the whole word if you try to like cut like in the middle somewhere here. It might not work as well. But since these are at the ends of the words, it's a little easier for us to just cut that piece out and we'll be okay. So I'm going to give myself a little room on either side, maybe like, maybe like that. And I'm keeping in mind that my peak there's kind of a peak coming down to the zero and then there's kind of a trough coming up to the zero um, maybe it's actually more like that okay and then um, make make sure I'm not dragging other things over with it um, cool I'm good to go and drag this over and do a little magic let's see if I got rid of it la 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 La. Perfect. So that is, that's it. That's how I get rid of clicks. And um, again, it might not work every time, but give it a shot if you really do want to save the take. But how long did that just take me? It probably would be faster if I just resang that take. So use your judgment and don't be too lazy. <laughs> I can be very lazy and edit things instead of singing them again. But all right. So I just wanted to make sure I covered that. 